Hello, my name is Chris Hammond, I'm the Director of Training here with .NET Nuke Corporation. In this brief video, we're going to show you how to install a .NET Nuke skin and container package. There's actually two ways to go about installing a skin and container package. You're going to have to be logged in as a host or super user account. From there, you can go to the host extensions page or the admin extensions page. Now, skins are different than modules in that when you install modules, they have to be installed from the host extensions page. Skins, however, can be installed from the admin extensions page. What this allows for is you to install a skin that's only available to a specific portal, whatever portal that admin page was under. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the skin under the host extensions page, and we're going to use the extension wizard just like we did when we installed our module in a previous video. So this is my .NET Nuke 5.6.0 Professional Edition install. Now the, the upload process for Community Edition and Enterprise Edition of .NET Nuke is just the same as it is here for the Professional Edition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the Host Extensions page. And then from the Host Extensions page, I need to go to the Actions menu on the Extensions page and choose the Install Extension Wizard. So with the Install Extension Wizard, we're then going to browse for our skin and container package. Now with .NET Nuke 5, it's possible to easily create and package up skins and containers into the, into the same package. I have a skin and container package here called EcoZany that I'm going to go, go ahead and upload. You can see it's a zip file. So I'm going to choose that zip file, go ahead and click Next. That will then open up the zip file and look for a manifest file within that package and display some of the information for that manifest file. If we go ahead and click on Next, it will take us to the release notes for this skin package. And this particular skin doesn't have any release notes, so we can go ahead and click on Next. And then from a licensing perspective, there's a basic license that's included in the skin. We have to accept the license. And once we accept that license, we can go ahead and click on Next, and that will install the skin and container package. Now by installing the skins and the containers, .NET Nuke will take all the necessary files and put them into the appropriate folders. Because we installed this skin and container package at the host level from the host extensions page, this skin and container package will be available to all .NET Nuke portals within our installation of DNN. Now what we want to do is we want to scroll to the bottom of the page and make sure that we say we get an installation successful message once we do, we can go ahead and click on Return. That'll take us back to the Extensions page. Now on the Extensions page, underneath the Skin section, we should be able to find that EcoZany listing now. Now that, that Extensions page takes a moment to load up because we just installed a number of files that caused the website to recycle. But once it loads up, if we then filter our extension types by Skin, we can see we now have an EcoZany skin available to us. We can also filter by container, and we can see that we have the Ecos 80 containers available to us as well. Now in a future video, we'll go through the process of applying that skin to our portal and to individual pages, as well as applying and using some of the containers within that skin package. In the meantime, however, if you're looking for more .NET Nuke training, please feel free to check out the training page under the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com. There you'll find a variety of free videos as well as a, a schedule of our upcoming instructor-led training sessions. We also offer custom on-site and online training. You can, like I said, find the training page under the resources tab or by visiting the shortcut URL here. Just keep in mind that the shortcut URL is case sensitive. Again, this was Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.